Hey, whoops. Hey, Dan Sissick here, and it is uh, Monday, August 25th, and I forgot to put my headset on so I could do my video blog for today. Wow, I'm just not totally with it today. Uh, Monday, go figure. Um, today I'm talking about a subject that I'm sure we all deal with and have dealt with, um, and I'm going to come to at this point of view, are, are you feeling like you're bound by your bills and that your bills are what's dictating your life? In the way of you know how you spend your money and things like that, because um, I'm going uh, have gone through that personally myself, and over the last couple months because of some changes and some things going on and um, putting some money into my business and investing in my business, I'm kind of feeling kind of like that right now because um, I haven't had quite the return I was looking for on a couple things. Um, and I'm looking at a couple other things to uh, look to bring that return back. So it's not a bad thing. I'm positive. I know things are going to keep going and keep moving forward. And my business is going to keep growing as it has been growing and doing. But, you know, we all go through those moments um, where as we're growing and striving and growing, chasing our dreams, that we have those moments. And just to show you, you know, here's a bill, you know, that one of my bills, I scratched out information. But just to, you know, that idea of bound by bills that, um, you know, as I'm working towards my goal and my dreams, that's one of the things that I will not have the change holding me back uh, to keep from pursuing, uh, furthering on and achieving even bigger dreams than what I'm working towards out of that. But tonight, as I was listening to our uh, Monday night team call, or uh, a company call actually, um, one of uh, the mentors um, I know about, and I follow him uh, loosely, but I follow him to a degree. I agree with some of the things he does and some of the things, you know. Um, but what he talked about tonight was um, the idea of um, how he was talking about how we model, you know, giving us the model for how he reached to his goal and where he's a million dollar earner and he's. Um, one of the top earners in the company, um, one of the 13 millionaires that are have come out of what I've been a part of. Um, that, you know, the biggest thing he learned was that he had to learn his products. He had to then use and do and apply that learning from his pl products. And then he taught others how to do the same thing. And that is a subject I've heard. It's a concept I've heard and thought of before. Um, from when I run to events and other trainers and stuff, but it hit me kind of in a different way tonight because um, I don't always follow that same plan, but he made sense and he hit it on the nail because of learning and then doing and then teaching. It reinforces everything for me and it, it will reinforce that for the next person I train and the next person that becomes a part of my business. That show them that same thing, that duplication of that thing on how to get there. Once again, earning the disclaimer and disclosure. You know, not all uh, results are typical. Some make more than what is the average. Some make less and make no money at all. You know, that's the nature. It takes. It goes back to what you put into it, and what you take out of your business, what you're willing to do. So that also plays in to the learning, doing and teaching that all encompasses and becomes a big part of it so why am i has this been well because um once again money's been not quite what i was expecting i had a couple things not follow through all the way so and i'd already spent some money on some other things so now i'm having to look at other options for replacing it and i'm going to replace it i have thought of a couple things that I can do, um, but in this, I will be covering some things that you might do and stuff like that as I work into moving into this same module of learning my products, using my products, getting in deeper and more in depth than what I have in the past, because I have and I've gone in and I've used and looked and done some of the products, but I've not used them as fully or learned as extensively as I could. And I might have basically kind of half-hearted did this because 
uh, I let other things get in the way or other things bother me or other things come up rather than saying, no, I need to do this and take this time. Just like tonight, um, I've made an idea that, you know, um, I've talked about this little egg timer before. I've used it and I am uh, have not been using it as readily as I have in the past. Well, I'm going to start using it again to set my break up my times to do my stuff so that way when I'm done with the task or when that time comes up, I'm finished with that task. I'll see where I'm at. If I need to finish something up, I'll do that little finish up, but I'll move on to my next task. Keep me on task to keep, keep me to those things. But it's that I'm tired of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. Um, and I think a lot of people go through that. A lot of people um, kind of go through that, and then they just totally quit and give up. I don't give up. I'm a persistent type of person. When something gets into me and I'm determined to beat it, um, I may put it away for a little bit and think about it and play with it and see. I think that's where I've been maybe the last couple months is I've been in that mode reassessing, re-looking, redoing because I'm going, I'm tired of doing that. I'm tired of that getting somewhere, pushing, shoving, flying, getting there. And then it not being what I was thinking it should be. And like my mentors say, always keep moving forward. Keep persisting. Keep persisting. I've talked about persistence before. So with that, look forward to me getting into the products a little more ex intensively and extensively. And that I'm going to be using them. And then I'm going to be teaching on them. So I will be having a hangout or something like that. I'll work out a system that works for me. I will probably bring on my sponsor and maybe some other people I know. Try and rework them back into this. Some of my friends and stuff. So with that, make it a simply simple day. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.